Okay, so I'm I'm a poet. Come on, those ones. So I'm going to do a poem about my two favourite things: uh, sleeping and the Matrix. That's a good poem. Warm bed, cold outside, eyes blurry. Not even light yet because it's Scotland. Up by 7.15 just to meet the most basic standards of hygiene. Just to go to the same job in the same office in the same shitty city day after day, decade after decade. 8.15, fuck, I need to get up, I need to rise and shine, be in time, be a productive worker, not a shirker. But it's so hard. Set an alarm, set multiple alarms, set multiple alarms on multiple clocks and multiple locations, multiple seconds apart. Set up a Rube Goldberg machine. A machine that transits power from your phone to a USB cigarette lighter, which in turn lights a tiny candle to burn a string which releases a tennis ball, and also a pan of water, uh, knocks over a broom into a pan of water into a miniature hydrostatic turbine that generates electric current for a toaster stuffed with a Glasgow smells better tea towel, soaked in Glen's vodka, and the ensuing flames force me fleeing from my sweet slumber into the never ending darkness that is Scotland. <laughs> 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 what if things could be better? What if there were a gentler way to wake up? What if I had a lifelike, real feel Stephen Fry cuddle ball? <laughs> Serenading me to sleep with his dulcet, velvety, rounded tones. Waking me up by reciting the collective works of Oscar Wilde in a gradually louder voice. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What if things aren't what they seem? What if Stephen Fry Cuddlebot is subtly influencing my thoughts? What if there's a whole network of Stephen Fry Cuddlebots coordinating their actions, manipulating my perceptions, slowly harvesting me as a source of electrons? Maybe my mind's playing tricks, maybe I'm stuck in the matrix. And uh, see, after 20 years of this shit, do you know what I've realised? <sighs> Ignorance is bliss. Thank you. Woo! And being a poet, I'm a kind of depressed individual. That just kind of goes with the territory. Um, and, you know, I'm getting to that point in life where I'm realising there's not much hope for me because I just can't find love. Oh. <laughs> I've reached that time in life. Hope has faded, replaced by strife. Gay death. That's what it's called. You hit 30 years and you're way too old. There's one thing I can try though, it's called Grinder. It's like the gay version of Tinder, which I'm sure most of you know, but let me remind you. You get a grid of faces and a matte black screen, just selfies and torsos, nothing too obscene. 50 potential suits are chosen by GPS, so surely here I'll find some success. I could be sat on the bus in the bog at the bar, scrolling through gay boys mode near and far. The choice is yours, take your pick. The sweetheart, the stud, or the arrogant prick. A timorous wee twinker, a balding old bear. Jawlines, haircuts, and up camera stairs. Top bear's bottom, non-binary division. Plenty of chances for terrible decisions. Slutty bottom, two for a third. Maybe the discreet guy with the bird. Bareback came from assorted fetishes. Sorry. <laughs> oh, look, the guy in the gimp mask sent me a message. <laughs> no, 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 I could do better than easy erections. I want to establish meaningful connections. Which is difficult when all I get is affirmation and banal conversations spouted by each and every temptation. Kind of looks like, Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. Is that it? What are you looking for? Emoji aubergine, pear dimple peach. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with your powers of speech? <laughs> what are you into? Fun. Me too. Any pics? Any more pics? Cockpit, 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 cockpit. Lots of cockpits. Would you let a chubby guy sit in your face? Do you want me to be your sex slave? Maybe. <laughs> Do you vote Tory, Bowie or Bowie, DS9 or Voyager, Nicholson or Ledger, Wilder or Depp, India or Dubset, Gin or Whiskey, Joy or Misery? I feel like a whore. <laughs> Have we met before? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm sure he told me his claim to fame, but I can't even remember his name. Statistically insignificant every romantic instant, because honestly, 
You could be any random participant. <laughs> nothing more than spasm and orgasm, nothing deeper than irony and sarcasm, carnality, banality, stoked by mortality, losing any trace of basic morality. But do I mean any more than that? I'm not so sure. I don't buy this idea that love is pure, because I get chance and carers from all walks of life, and I'm known this app to find a wife. Look, there are basic rules that are heaven sent. Do no harm, and only with consent. So any guy who wants to try his luck, go forth, be fruitful, and queer as fuck. <laughs> Thank you.